story at 10. State prisons may have fewer tower guards working overnight in the near future. Governor Walker's $68 billion budget proposal includes cutting 60 tower guard jobs within the Department of Corrections. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live in Alloway tonight with more. Alex? Well, Stacey, that includes the Green Bay prison here in Alloway. The governor says these cuts would save the state about six million dollars. Now, neighbors here in Alloway, on the other hand, they have some safety concerns as a result of this. To create a government that is limited in scope. Governor Walker hit on it during his budget address. More effective, more efficient, and more accountable to the public. Planning to cut 400 government positions, which includes 60 third shift tower guard jobs. And today, during a stop in De Pere, he explains his reasoning. They don't provide any real additional security. Uh, that's done through electronic monitoring. The Department of Corrections supports the plan, saying, quote, our staff, who runs some of the most safe and secure prisons in the nation, will implement this plan without risk to the public or internal safety. But the union representing state corrections workers disagrees. These towers are manned um, for a purpose, and that is to stop people from going over them. We live in a comfortable life. Along with Eugene Berry. Now we got to worry about, you know, if somebody tries to escape. Who lives next door to the walls of Green Bay's prison. Some things you can cut, but there's other things you, you just don't cut. He's hoping these towers are manned 24-7. Now the governor is recommending state prisons use technology and um, more uh, ground patrols in prisons to keep them more secure overnight. Reporting live in Alloway, I'm Alex Hagan with NBC26. Thank you, Alex.